guys, it's Taylor. I'm on this 30 foot Bennington today. It's a nice warm 30 degrees. We're having a good time. I'm cruising at about 30 miles an hour right now. Nice, comfortable speed. But with the twin 400s, if I needed to, I'm over 50 pretty quickly. running hard like we've been there's not a single noise on the boat i can come through in a hard bank to the port there's not a rattle there's not a shake the boat is just rock solid as we're coming through i know there's no traffic on the lake right now but the thing just handles good it's smooth all around you can give it all the juice that you need to through these corners So Bennington's got a wide variety of models, right? We go down from the 18 and then up to the 30 that we're on here. And on this 30 foot, so this is a 10 wide boat. What that is, you've got those big ESP tunes, the bigger 32s. I've got three of them on this thing. This is your holiday weekend pontoon. This thing can handle any of the chop that you're gonna throw at it. It's gonna be the best, craziest ride boat out there for those wild weekends. I'm here on the back of this 30QX and this one is going to be with the swing back. You'll see right here, I've got this rear seat where you can sit facing forward or when you're hanging out, you're at the dock or you're out in the middle of the lake, you can pull this forward and now you've got a rear facing area. And the cool thing is, is you still got this bar right here. So this is a good seat while you're underway. A lot of times you'll see boats with rear seats and you can't ride in them while you're driving. On this one you can. Then I've got a third option. I can take this seat, drop it down inside flat sun pad you're good to go and if that's not enough there's two flip ups right here so if i've got this tucked away now i've got a rear lounger where you can face forward you've got your headrest right there this is hard to beat seating arrangement wise moving forward through the boat what you'll notice is the color so this is smoky granite this is one of the cooler colors when you're in the shade like we are on this side it almost looks black and then when you come around to the other side or in the front in the sun it turns into a lightish bluish gray it's got some nice metallic in it. I think in terms of look in the sun, it's probably one of the coolest colors. And then moving to the inside, we color matched again. We did the dark gray interior on the sport interior with the white, and then we did the gray stitching through there as well. In terms of color match and look, I think it really, it hits the mark for sure. On this specific boat and every other Bennington as well, there's a lot of options. Uh, one major one is a windshield. So we went with the side door on this one, but you can also transition it to the big wraparound windshield like you'll see, kind of a different option there. We have different seating arrangements in the back. Another big one that customers always talk about is the helm. I've got the big 12 inch on here. You can switch that up, do a seven, do a nine. There's a lot of different options through these that you can do to make the boat yours, how you're gonna use it. Uh, just make it fit your boating lifestyle. We're over here at Dog Days, it's a brisk 30. And we're gonna run through some docking. Uh, my favorite thing about this boat in particular is when you're docking, it's a big boat, but with the joystick, I mean, you're pulling in and out of a slip. You're not yelling at everybody, getting all stressed out. It really makes it easy where you can kind of focus on having a good time and not getting all wadded up into the dock. So on the joystick, and this is gonna be the Mercury one that I've got here, you've got every movement that you need to move your boat around. You've got forward and back, the rotation is going to be really nice so you can get your bow swung around really easily. And then you've even got, and kind of the coolest feature that I like to see is that the thing can crab walk from left to right. So if you, you're getting close, say you're about to pull up to the gas dock, the boat can move completely left to right and you don't have to touch the wheel or the throttles at all. So once you're in the slip and it's time to go, all you basically do is you're in neutral. We're just going to back straight up. We're going to come right out of the slip. It's variable power, so the more that you turn it, the more power it gives you. 
Um, I've got a little crosswind right now. You know, at dog days, it does get windy. So I can just back straight out. As soon as I get from out of the slip, I'll give it just a little bit more. And then once I'm clear, I can flip the boat around. And I'm not touching the sticks or the wheel at all. This is just with two fingers. I'm gonna flip the boat around right here. Now I'm to open water, just like that. It took three moves, and I can just push forward and kind of get myself out of where that no wake zone is. And then once you're clear of everything and you're comfortable, you just get into the sticks, nothing else, just put it into gear and now you're off. I've had a lot of customers tell me it's nice when they're around the busy docks or down here at dog days or anywhere else, it gets crazy. And you get some jet ski that cuts right in front of you. You can really just, oh no, stop right there and you'll stop your forward momentum completely. Let that kid go past you and then keep going and not really start sweating too bad. We'll flip around the other way here. And you can see here, we can really get turned around really quickly. It's all digital. The motors are doing the calculations by themselves. So now you'll see I'm doing crab walk to the left. The motors actually turn outside away from each other. And this is when you're getting real close to that gas dock and you just want to push yourself in or when you're leaving, you want to push yourself out. The boat's going to run sideways. Guys, another feature I do want to show you is when you're in forward in joystick, right? So I'm going to shift into forward with the stick and then I'm going to turn it. What that's going to do is so I've got forward but I've still got a little bit of turning capabilities. So as I'm pushing forward, say I'm coming out of the no wake or something, and then here comes the dock, I can give this a little turn, and you'll see here the boat will start to shift to the left, and then I'm still going forward. So right now you'll see it blue, I'm in sky hook. So basically this is gonna take my GPS coordinates and keep me where I'm at. Uh, most time this is gonna be useful when you're waiting to fuel up or waiting to get that spot. You can see here, I'm hands off and the boat's making its own adjustments to keep where we are. So we're kind of waiting to pull in, we're waiting to pull out. This is just gonna keep us here until we're able to go ahead and shift back in uh, and go to where we are trying to go. And then right here, Skyhook will turn that off and then now we're just floating again. You also see that there's an adjust. So depending on how it is, I've got it uh, plussed up. So on the adjust for the joystick, you can turn up the power so you can get more push with it or if it's a real calm day or maybe you're just trying to do some learning or teaching somebody else how to do it you can really dial it back to where you don't get a lot of thrust and get you used to it but then on those real windy or high current days you can ramp it up uh, so you can get a little more push that if you need it the nice thing about the joystick on this boat is it's easy to use and it's easy to not use also if you if you're traditional and you like the double sticks here you can still get in here flip them separately give it a little more if you need to get the spin going a little more. So it's kind of nice that you can still run with that and there's no complicated buttons to hit or anything. And if, it, if you need to, you know, switch the joystick, we just go to neutral and you're back up here easy as can be. So guys, I took you through the entire operation of the joystick on a 30 foot Bennington or any other twin engine Bennington. Uh, the next step is you get to see it for yourself. All of us at Kelly Sport, we love to be educators, show you how to use the product. That's what's the most fun about it. So come by, give us a call, whatever you want, come by and we'll walk you through what it's like to get on this Bennington for yourself.